a member of YUCI. And now moving to our next speaker, a woman should be two things, who and what she wants to be. Our next speaker is an educator with 23 plus years of experience in teaching, skill development and school administration with numerous reputed schools across the country. Currently working as the principal at Biakon High School and Junior College, Pune. She's also a certified CBSE resource person for capacity building programs in assessment of speaking and listening skills, classroom management, remodel structures of assessments, career guidance, upholding ethics and integrity in schools, leading transformations and happy classrooms. She has received excellence award for being the emerging principal in the global education and skills summit. Certificates of Appreciation from the HRD Minister for two consecutive years, a recipient of the prestigious Nachiketa Award for Innovative Methods in Teaching of English and Appreciation Certificates at CBSE Life Skills Summits at the regional as well as at the international levels. She's also an executive board member in the Global Training Academy and an honorary member of the NEDEX. Let me welcome you all to Mrs. Vishaka Gupta, over to you, ma'am. Thank you, my humble pranams to the galaxy of uh, speakers and women. And women are incomplete. The word women also comprises of the word men. So it's a combination and they are at par even in the word women. I would start by presenting a small video, which is a food for thought. And then I would continue my speech. Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming to help us conduct this experiment today. We were of different ages, we were made to like stand in a line. Now I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. If your answer is a yes, step forward. If it's a no, please step back. Here goes. Ready? Did you learn how to ride a bicycle before the age of 10? Did you learn music in school? Did you take any lessons in sports? And no, video games are not a sport, even if it has the word game in it. Did you learn how to iron your clothes while still in school? Take a step forward. If not, take a step back. If you can make tea or breakfast, not just for yourselves, please step forward. If not, take a step back. In the beginning, I think the questions were more general. People were still going forward and backward. Uh, questions like, it was funny to see like uh, the cooking question. There were a lot of men who went ahead and there, there were women who were going behind. Do you usually make all the household bill payments yourself? Do you know the circle rate in your area? Do you know the price of gold today? Do you know the exact breakup of your salary? As the questions unfolded, the stark difference came out visibly. Do you know the details of the financial documents you're asked to sign? Have you bought a vehicle in your own name without consulting anybody? Have you bought insurance policies unassisted? Do you watch or follow the budget? Like you think you're doing okay, but then you're like, okay, these are kind of important things that I don't look at. Do you manage your own finances and earnings unassisted? Do you know how to invest in mutual funds? Do you know the difference between a mutual fund and an SIP? Do you make the investments for your family members or your spouse? Do you file your own income tax return? Now everyone who's in front, could you please turn around and look behind you? Initially, when you guys started moving, there wasn't such a big gap. My question is, when did this gap start to occur? The minute the questions became about managing money, the gap between men and women became very clear and evident. You know, women handling certain responsibilities regarding their own life, which were always passed on to someone else in the family or the men. There was a slight unfairness, I realized at that time. But at that point, it, it seemed normal. I was upset. <laughs> I wanted to 
be at the front of the line. It's like, why don't I know this? Why am I not confident enough to say, yes, I am able to understand this? It was quite an eye-opener for me because I always depended on the men of the family to take care of my investment and, you know, plan my future. I felt that obviously men are more into it than uh, women. So eventually I did expect the gap to be there. Over the years growing up, you know, there was there were certain very traditionally masculine tropes that were assigned for him and certain traditionally feminine tropes that were assigned for me. For women, it's practically debarred to learn to know and to focus on money. I wish I had known from the beginning of my childhood and I kind of thought about that I would be doing so much better. Just actionable measures is what we want, really. <laughs> So that is where I wanted to take all of you. And with this, I would like to say, empowerment isn't about making women stronger. It is about changing the way the world, and more importantly, the women themselves perceive their strength. So women have to learn to perceive their strength along with the world and say, yes, I can do it. I can learn it. I can go ahead with it. Because women need to stand up for themselves. It is an individualistic approach. And the process of empowerment, I feel, is very, very simple. It is accepting their viewpoint. It is raising their status through education, awareness, literacy, and training. Now, what we saw here in this video was that these women were all educated. They belonged to the current century, to the current decade. But still, there were certain aspects that they never did or they were never asked to do. So, Empowerment means promoting self-worth and women need to learn this. They need to have self-worth for themselves, determine their own choices and uh, need to understand that they have the right to influence the so uh, social changes. Also, we need to understand that Lakshmi, Saraswati and Durga are definitely given their place in religion, but women don't want that high pedestal. They need the equality. Don't raise us, but bring us equal. And for that, not only men, but women have to understand their worth. And this can happen only by standing up for ourselves, sharing opportunities, encouraging them, and building the network. As Malala very rightly says, I raise up my voice, not so that I can shout, but so that those without a voice can be heard. We cannot succeed when half of us are held back. And we can see the same thing happening in Afghanistan at this given point of time when the rights of women are being forfeited. So first, it is a call out, a shout out to women, understand your power, rise up, and to the men, it's a 50-50 world, give them the right, give them the hand, and they will prove themselves. Thank you. A mother.
a mother, wife, daughter, friend, and a businesswoman. Levglad.tk. New beginnings. She helps people to secure a happier future by helping them find solutions. She is a coach and a mentor. Cognitive therapy, she teaches 